Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everybody is better than I've been this week. I apologize for not having a work week top and bottom. Um, experienced a few technical difficulties with the electronic hardware we got going on here. But I got it all straightened out just in time for the what would be the weekend top and bottom. But unfortunately, you know what, I think... The universe is just trying to tell me that this can only happen once a week until the school year starts. So, that being said, this will be your weekly top and bottom of the deck, guys. This will be good until next Friday, probably. For those of you who are new here, don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. It is still Leo season until the end of the day love you guys you know I do so fire signs will go first I'll go around the wheel accordingly if you're not sure where your zodiac sign falls as far as the elements go I will shout them out before I lay the cards out and someone's usually nice enough to time stamp everything if you choose not to sit through the whole thing if it resonates cool if it doesn't check your placement signs you might find something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watchers are always welcome. So without further ado, I'm a minute and a half in. I'm going to shut up and throw down some cards. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what's going on with you guys this week? Two Swords, King of Wands. Some of you may feel like you're blindly going into making a decision. I'm not sure if that King of Wands is confrontation or sexual energy. Take it however it resonates. That's all I can say. King of Wands is just one of those cards. Okay. Oh, wow. Could be the distant past, could be the recent past. Six of Wands and Death. Okay. This could have involved a return. Either you return to someone's life, they return to your life. There was a spiritual change in metamorphosis, possibly death, birth, resurrection with the death card. It could be a fire sign or a Scorpio you're dealing with. Something changed. Fast forward a little bit. Ace of Swords reversed. Four of Wands reversed. There was a cutoff in communication. Doors slammed. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, what's happening this week? Two of Wands in the reverse, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you could be stuck, not knowing which way to go on the path, deciding not to put work into something. No longer putting energy into something. Huh. Okay. I'm picking up what this is putting down. It's resonating with me a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Let's throw some clarifiers on this real fast. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table from the fire sign? Friends, please. For this coming week, Friday to Friday. Though most of you probably aren't going to see this until Saturday, just because of the time I'm doing the reading and what time it's going to be uploaded. And we'll just say it's good for seven days, okay? Seven days. We'll call this the seven-day top and bottom for the next few weeks. Just until things settle back down in my life. I'm a fire sign, the rest of the chaos, I'm sorry. I don't normally do this. Can I get a clarifier on this King of Wands, please? Hi! 
Wow. Okay. Eight of Wands flies out. And it flew out, friends. Forward movement. Okay. Possibly making a decision whether you want to move forward with something. I, I for some odd reason, I totally forgot that the King of Wands is the charge card. <laughs> All right. Okay. Possibly meaning communication could mean forward movement again. Take it however it resonates for you. Uh, who will clarify next? I think these four pretty much speak for themselves. Why the two of wands reversed here? That's what they really want to know about. Why is two of wands reversed here? I'm not going to clarify if I don't have to today, guys. I got time. I'm on a time crunch as usual. Hi, what do you got to say? Hi, priest, the hierophant. You're stuck because you're connected to this person. You could have been married. They could be someone you've been playing the game with for a while. One more on that. The tower. Hmm. Could be an event that changes everything. I'm not seeing this as the walls are going to come crumbling down. I mean, it's a possibility. It could be catastrophic. If it is, I'm sorry. All the tower really means is sudden and abrupt change in a situation. Okay. So you're stuck at a crossroads. You could have been married to this person. There's definitely a soul connection here. Something is going to happen that is going to change everything. And whatever is going to occur is going to send finally and feeling like you're finally going to decide which path you're going to go down because right now you're stuck okay or the catastrophe is going to make you even more stuck i mean can i get one okay why is the tower here why is the tower here i don't need nine cards but okay you hit the table you guys are going back in sun in the reverse Five of Wands. That being said, the event may finally... I see confrontation. I see lack of happiness. I see disconnect. You're going to get shoved down the path you're supposed to go down. You're going to make your decision. Could be an argument involved. All right, why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Two of Pentacles came out. Four of Swords came out. No longer putting work into something. Laying something to rest. Regaining your balance. Apparently it's going to be one hell of a week for my fire sign friends. Okay, let's get some advice for you guys. Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Emperor. Okay, for some of you, you may need to get a handle on a financial situation. That's how I'm reading that. You need to take charge of your future because right now it is very uncertain. 
one more on that one. Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. In order for something new to come in, in order for you to regain your emotional stability, expect anyone to fill your cup, expect anyone to come in with a cup, be able to fill someone else's cup, you need to let go and release whatever this is. Okay, a little bit more advice for you. The Hermit reversed, the Ten of Swords in the reverse. If you continue to put your head in the sand and ignore what's going on around you, this is never going to come to an end for you. You're never going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The sun's not going to shine again. This painful cycle's not going to end. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, it might be time to put that house plant out on the back deck. If you haven't already. And if it's out on the back deck and it's not doing anything, it might be time to just put it in the big blue dumpster and have it all to the dump. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's up to you. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Okay. That's what I have for my fire sign friends. Pretty cut and dry. <laughs> what am I doing? You no, you can just go right there. You know what? Change in seasons, we'll just do it that way. Okay. Universe, source, and spirit. What do we have in store for my earth sign friends? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn this week. Empress upright, Princess of Swords reversed. Another home and family situation where y'all ain't talking. You could have a child with this person. There's a lack of communication here. Okay. The past could be distant, could be recent. Four of Cups in the upright, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone was ignoring something that was trying to be handed to them. Concentrating on the three spilt cups of the past, the coulda, woulda, shouldas. Severely affected, possibly how the household's running. Family issues with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Could have affected some financial things. There's a breakdown here. Fast forward a little. Nine of Cups in the upright. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Let's get some clarity on this. I'm sensing a false happiness. Or one of you is perfectly happy and content, and the other one, not so much. Could be some bedroom issues. I'm not going to dance around it. It is what it is. Somebody could just be having self-worth issues. Fast forward a little bit more. Oh my, this is what's going down this week. Ace of Wands in the upright, Eight of Cups in the reverse. Oh my. Hmm. Somebody could be doing a little bit of shopping around, possibly. 
new communications with new people leading to a, an eight of cups moment where someone's walking away with their tail between their legs. Oh boy, okay. Let's get some clarity. Oh my. Oh my. Y'all ain't jiving. Somebody's not on the same page here. It all boils down to a lack of communication. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and tables for my earth sign friends, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. No, I'm not going to take five cards in it and ask anything yet. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here? Page of Cups reversed, King of Pentacles reversed. No communication, no feeling the love, no forward movement, things are stagnant. Someone's really not feeling like a rock star. Again, with the self-worth issues. Somebody in this situation just ain't feeling it. Why is the Nine of Cups here? reversed. Oh, gosh. I'm feeling false happiness saving face. Somebody may be acting like they're happy just to stay in the situation. Three of Cups reversed. They're not really happy. They're disconnected. There's Queen of Wands reversed here. You want to talk. Ace of Cups reversed. <sighs> Potentially bedroom issues. Somebody's cup isn't being filled. It's just continually being spilt. Obviously, someone's feeling a little bit ignored. All right. Why is Ace of Wands here? Nine of Swords reversed. Why the Nine of Swords reversed? Oh my gosh! Okay. Six of Cups is upright. I'm going to put those back, see if they come back out. I'm not even going to look at them. These cards are kicking my butt today. Somebody's a little, uh, overwhelming emotions, overwhelming thoughts, trying to put it out of their head. Deep respect for the nostalgic feel of the situation, but I, this, the foundation's unsteady here, guys. One more on this Ace of Wands. Nine of Wands reversed. 
somebody in this situation doesn't have anything left to give. They don't have any pushes left. The doors are going to close. Somebody, potentially someone you have children with. Oh gosh, I am so sorry, Earth signs. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Did I have a flipper? Could be a Leo you're dealing with. No flippers. Somebody's walking away and it's going to take a great deal of strength. Somebody may just need some time. Temperance, upright, shadow side, reverse. Polarities in a relationship. Someone may just need to like go off and do their thing. Regain balance. Attempt to, I don't know, disconnect from the poisons maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe the situation's getting a little bit toxic and someone just needs to walk away. So the energy flow is a little bit better between you. Somebody may just need to take a breath. Let's get some advice. Prince of Pentacles upright, two cups reversed. Apologies may be in order in order to save this connection. I don't know who needs to apologize. Alchemist in the upright, moon in the upright. Y'all need to get out of the forest. Y'all need to talk. Because there's a lot of unknowns here. You have the ability to fix this. Someone's choosing not to. Somebody can't see the forest, the trees. Somebody needs to open their eyes and allow things to be illuminated. Things always look different in the moonlight than they do in the sunshine. Somebody needs to step back into the sun come out of the dark night. Four of Pentacles in the uprights. Justice in the uprights. Hold on to what you need to hold on to. Release what you need to release and regain balance in this connection. You have to be fair to each other in all fairness. High Priestess in the upright. Three of Pentacles in the reverse for some of you. The connection is here, but the foundation is unsteady. So, what do you do? You fix the foundation. What's your intuition telling you to do? You have to ask yourself that. Not, not what is your head telling you to do. Not what's in your pants telling you to do. Not what your heart's telling you to do. What your gut is telling you to do. You know what to do. And you figure it out. Okay, that's what I have for my sign friends. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this week? Universe, Source, and Spirit. What do we have in store for our air sign friends? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for the next week.
Two of Pentacles upright. Ten of Pentacles upright. Ah. So far, you guys are doing pretty good. Retaining balance. Things are going well from a financial standpoint by the looks of things. What happened in the past? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Three of Wands in the upright. Codependent energy. Waiting for something to come in. Okay. Fast forward a little. Six of Cups. Nine of Swords. Nostalgic connection. Okay. Kind of went a little... All up in your head about it for a while with this Nine of Swords. Kept you up at night. The waiting may have kept you up at night. What's going on this week? Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords reversed. You're sleeping better. I think this week, what you've finally been waiting for will come. Possibly someone from your past. Either this life or that, or the last, you know. Alright. Let's get a little clarity. Or, finally going to meet somebody new and forget about that old past connection. Threes, fours speak for themselves. You're in a codependent situation. You waited for him to return. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I'm not taking five cards. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Yes. Somebody's coming in with a cup that's going to make you forget about the last one. You're finally going to pick up the pieces. Start building a foundation. Why the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups can be a little bit squirrely. But a cup's a cup. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Mm, I'm not so sure about this cup. Maybe a little bit slow going. It's in the reverse, so it could be a gas pedal. It may not go anywhere for some of you, but you're going to forget about the last one. I think maybe that's the important part. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here? Thanks. Seven of Cups. Putting the old one out of your head, maybe it might cause a little bit of emotional confusion. One more. Six of Swords reversed. Oh, that's a game changer. There's a return in your future. That happens sometimes. You get so stuck on someone that you've been connected with for so long, and then you wait and you wait and you wait, and then on return, and then you move on to someone else, and all of a sudden they pop back up. Let's get your advice. The devil card upright, the moon reversed. This is a powerful connection you're dealing with. And as for the wise, well, things will be illuminated in time. You're going to see the forest of the trees, but you have to look for it. Hmm. Knight of Cups and Death. Yes, this Knight of Cups may bring about change. Could possibly bring out 
the evolution of someone's soul, apparently you were a little bit farther ahead than the person you were dealing with. And it took this little kick in the pants that's coming up to kind of wake them up a little bit. Good times. Good times. Oh. Seven of Swords reversed. Six of Wands reversed. If they ain't coming back honest and true, don't let them come back. Hangman in the upright, death in the reverse. And some of you may have to accept the fact, accept the fate of the situation that things didn't change. So prepare yourself for that too, okay? I don't know. Everybody's placements are different. Everybody's situation is different. Just be aware. Okay, air signs, just be aware. And if you're dealing with a codependent person, be aware of that too. Maybe you weren't the codependent one, maybe they were. But they're mine. Probably should have treated them a little bit better. That was for the cross watcher, not my air signs. Okay. Water signs. Can't spicy Scorpio. What's going on for you guys this week? Into Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Nine of Cups upright, Ace of Cups reversed. I'm taking this as you're doing fine and you don't need somebody else's cup. Or somebody's cup might be a little bit kicked over and dumped by the fact that you're doing so well. In the past, Four of Pentacles in the upright, Emperor reversed. Someone was holding on to something. Possibly holding on to some baggage. Maybe not feeling like the rock star that they are. Maybe a little bit out of control. Not really having their crap together. Could have been you, could have been the person you're dealing with. Fast forward a little bit. Six of Swords reversed, Knight of Wands reversed. Oh, there was a return. Somebody maybe wanted to come back to commit. Maybe somebody is done sowing their wild oats and playing games. Maybe they were the out of control one. Maybe theirs is the cup you're about to kick over. What's going on this week? Two of Pentacles upright, Page of Wands upright. This Page of Wands indicates new conversations with new people. I like it, water signs. I like it. I'm only going to clarify the bottom two. These four speak for themselves. Why is the Two of Pentacles up? Queen of Pentacles reversed. 
think you're finally starting to regain your balance. They're coming back a little bit needy, a little bit clingy. Why is Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Three of Wands reversed, Chariot in the upright. You're regaining your balance. You're you're putting distance in. You're driving your chariot as far away from this as possible. You are no longer waiting. I think you waited for them to return for a while. And you got done waiting. Why is the page of wands here? I'm not taking five cards. I'm not taking five cards. You would like to talk. King of Swords reversed. Oh, you might give a little bit of a dude to this person. I think you, you have a few sour feelings toward this. Two of Pentacles again. Um, you're regaining your balance. You're, you're moving on because they would knock the wind out of your sails and knocked you a little bit out of control. And you're like, no. They might try to come back manipulative with this magician in the reverse. One more. High Priestess reverse. You acknowledge that the connection is there, but you don't want to do anything about it anymore. You're like, you know what? I've moved on from this. Yes, I, I care about you, but... I can't, I can't deal with you. Fair enough. Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, wow. Eight of Swords upright, Death upright, Shadow side upright, Empress upright. You could potentially have a child with this person. Possibly. They're connected. They, oh, wow. They are all up in their head about you. I've changed. I've changed. This, this could potentially be toxic. But they want you back bad. But I don't... I, I see you moving on. You have too sour of an attitude for this. I see you kicking that cup right over because you're fine. Let's get some advice. Nine of Swords upright. Eight of Swords reversed. Don't let this consume you. Don't. I think you've held on to these bad feelings for too long. Ten of Wands reversed. King of Swords. It's time to make logical decisions and not emotional ones. It's time to be honest about this and it's time to release the burden because you've held on to it for too long. Fair enough. Page of Wands upright, Six of Pentacles reversed. You need to go forth on your path and find something that is fair and equal. Because I don't think this was. Ten of Cups reversed, Page of Swords reversed. Don't close yourself off. Don't close yourself off to the dream. Okay? Don't close yourself off to the fairy tale ending just because one person knocked the wind out of your sails. And don't stay silent and not try because one person knocked the wind out of your sails. Okay? That's what I have for you, water sign friends. Thanks for coming by today. I appreciate you guys. Ugh. Oh.
And this sadie is gonna get back on the horse and ride. So I gotta go to my bread and butter job for my work week. I always love starting off a work week throwing down cards. All right, thanks for coming by. I love you guys. Be blessed. Catch you next time.